I want to have a discussion about cannibalism. Cannibalism is the practice of consuming the flesh or organs of another human being, or, to be more specific, it's one member of a species consuming another member of the same species. Often seen as a taboo for most cultures, I have come to ask the question, why? Why is the consumption of human flesh looked down upon? The sentiment is not universal. For a small number of cultures, cannibalism is a cultural norm, even a spiritual practice. So what is the issue? From what I've gathered, most people have in their mind the notion that people who practice cannibalism are like those in various books and films, where people are hunted as a source of food and ritually slaughtered. Now, while there have been cultures that engaged in such practices, this is not always the case. The Batak people of Indonesia had at one point practiced cannibalism before the practice was made illegal in the late 1800s. Now, it is said that once an individual had been killed, their blood would be preserved for drinking and the body would be cooked and seasoned with salt, pepper, and lemon. However, it is important to note that those who were eaten were either criminals or prisoners of war. This is an important distinction, as the Batak people did not kill others for the purpose of consumption. They killed as punishment for one's crimes. To quote Franz Wilhelm Jungen, who visited the Batak people in the early 1840s, People do the honest batar and injustice when it is said they sell human flesh in markets, and they slaughter their old people as soon as they are unfit for work. They eat human flesh only in wartime, when they are enraged, and in few legal instances. Of course, there's still the issue of an individual being killed. Even if said individual had committed some crime, not everyone agrees with capital punishment. For some, this is the reasoning for why cannibalism is wrong, because killing people is unethical. But it's important to remember that cannibalism is only the consumption of human flesh. Murder is not a requirement. Take for example the Wari people of South America. Now, the Wari had practiced a form of mortuary cannibalism for many years. Once a person died, the extended family would be gathered and the body prepared, with the organs removed and the flesh roasted over a fire. It was seen as a sign of respect as the Wadi believe that consuming an individual kept that individual's soul within one's own body rather than condemning them to wander the forests for an eternity. Now, there are people who would take issue with this, those who think that eating the dead is a disgusting practice, but why? Is it immoral to eat dead things? Unless you're a vegetarian, you likely eat meat. That's dead animal flesh, and people don't take any issue with eating dead animals. Ethically speaking, there isn't any harm in eating a dead human. That's one of the perks of being dead. You can't be hurt. But I suppose that is an issue for some. The whole dead part. Eating the remains of someone you knew can be off-putting for some. But what if the individual wasn't dead? As I've said before, cannibalism is only the consumption of human flesh. The person said flesh comes from doesn't need to have been murdered, nor may it be necessary for them to be dead. In certain circumstances, an individual may find that one of their limbs may need to be amputated, either because of a disease or severe injury. So, I'd like to present to you a hypothetical scenario. Let's say that, due to unfortunate circumstance, you've gotten into a car crash. A crash so severe that one of your legs was amputated and cannot be reattached with surgery. If given the choice, did you eat your dismembered leg? Or what if it wasn't one of your limbs? The human body has some very impressive regenerative properties. Various tissues can be regrown when damaged or even replaced entirely as long as there are enough remaining cells. Your liver, for example can fully regenerate as long as 25% of the organ remains. 
pair the other 75% with some fava beans and a bottle of Chianti, and you've got yourself a pretty tasty meal. That leads to a fairly interesting question. Would it be ethical to eat yourself? Let me know in the comments down below.